Hey guys, welcome back to Deadly Premonition 2. And I just had a huge scare with this game because I checked and the last time I autosaved was like maybe let's say like 30 minutes before this point. And when I booted up the game again, it just like it was just a black screen. But you could hear the the sounds, you could hear York walking around, but you couldn't see anything. And so I just like flipped to my menu and it was working again. But it was really scary. I thought I was gonna have to like repeat the other world, essentially, which wouldn't have been that bad, but like it's not that fun of a segment to begin with. So anyway, anyway, here we are at the Clarkson house. We're kind of like deep into the Clarkson house. We just saw PJ Clarkson. He like spoke to us, even though we're supposed to be in this other dimension. So I don't know how he's able to do that. <laughs> and we're about to go through this door. Who knows if this is the exit or there's just more of the house to explore. It's a pretty big house. I wouldn't be surprised if there was more, but you don't know. <laughs> Okay, so we do have more of the segment to complete. Which, you know, it does make sense. We've only ever- we only have seen, like, PJ Clarkson's bedroom and the dining room or something to that effect, so... Here we go. Kill more monsters for that to open. Here's a, yet another. I'm hurting for ammo, so... done is take some of that anti-paralysis medicine out of my toolbox and put it into my inventory. That's really the most annoying part of this segment is that they can paralyze you and then it just makes it so that you can't shoot anything for a while. branches in front of it. It's probably just like extra items or something. But you know, I don't want to leave any stone unturned. Yeah! <laughs> 
scared because my cat opened my bedroom door in the corner of my eye and I thought something was like coming after me. How am I still so injured? <laughs> so that door is still closed. something else that opened up behind me. I assume it's in this room. they were trying to like scare me a little bit by like having them appear around the corner but like you can see them on the map <laughs> it's gonna last it just like <gasps> <laughs> 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 
do anything. God. I have time. I'm being attacked by exploding crabs. think back to what happened with Galena. After we were finished profiling her, we ended up fighting a boss version of her in the other world, so it could be that we're about to fight Professor R. Or maybe they just don't want to do that until later in the story. I can't let York be sleepy. He has so much coffee in his inventory. It my sleep meter did not go up, so whatever. I grew up in this room. As my back broke under all my father's expectations. Your cocktail was delicious. So delicious, in fact, that it carried me off into a dream. Huh. Professor R. What did you hope to achieve by coming back to this house? I don't believe for a moment that you'd ever risk your life just to get revenge on your father. I guess she's not about to answer that. <laughs> Leonard Clarkson. That was my name when I lived here. Everyone called me Lenny. My father taught me all sorts of things so that I would grow up to become a proper heir. How to manipulate people. How to properly use tools such as violence and rewards. But I could never bring myself to care about any of it. You left this place in order to find your true self. But what did that achieve? In the end, you fell back into Lucare. And now you spend your time selling the new drug you created, preying on the weak. You and the Clarksons are exactly alike in that regard. No, you choose your victims indiscriminately, which makes you even uglier. Some people find joy in ruining themselves, offering up their lives to whatever they worship. This cycle has repeated itself since long ago. To me, it's the most noble of actions. Surely you must agree, Agent Morgan. Stop trying to rationalize your crimes with that dramatic gibberish. Vicissitudo, <laughs> the Latin word used to describe a fluctuation between two polar opposites. Galena's body wasn't a declaration of war. It was this, wasn't it? Those severed roots were fakes. Who did you force to kill Galena? I can't believe you figured out that much. You're dangerous. What you're talking about is true madness, not some noble fairy tale. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to shoot me. Okay. Go ahead and shoot. Come on! Shoot me! Ugh. The Clarkson bloodline is cursed. It needs purification. A blood purge! <laughs> And what?
what did I gain from that? Nothing. <laughs> Except that Professor R did not kill Galena. They ordered someone else to do it. Another bedroom. Because this was her room. Blood. That's what it says. When did she carve that into the desk? Like just now? Or was that like a thing from his early childhood? Her early childhood? Obvious. Or is it just another portal like that? I think actually... Well... The first time we went to the other world we did a boss battle and then we left. So maybe it is that obvious. It's just that this gun only takes so many bullets at a time, so...
to backtrack somewhere else, but I've already forgotten. <laughs> these, these segments, they're just... They're just so repetitive. Toolbox. You just get so many items from this from the other world. I should also make sure that my if I get another chance to use my toolbox, I should make sure that I have the right modifications and stuff. Oops. Attention to the map, really. Box. Gotta make sure I have enough bullets. Oh, it's full, that's why. So many coffees, like. I don't really... This 
keyboard boost. Minigame boost? Maybe I should go to Erzuli Frida after this because I've collected a lot of different materials just walking around town and doing quests and stuff, so. Oh, I saved, but I didn't heal. But it's probably fine. Now, who's that in there? Another similar looking boss arena. I mean, it's just the exact same arena. Just with the red tree in the middle and this, like, embryo sack. But who's in there? Zack, here it is again. A red tree and a translucent cocoon. But who is that? I think we've reached the core. The goddess of fertility will descend into Lucari, and then the sweet fruit will be ours. Destruction is the first step to creation. <laughs> Lisa's death sent everything into motion. There's no stopping it now. Her death. Proved how determined I am, how dedicated I am to all who trust in me. Galena and Lys, their deaths were not in vain. They led us to the harvest. The Clarks and Blood Curse will be washed away. Life must be sacrificed. Blood purge, blood purge, blood. <laughs> Blood! I need blood! Alright. Oh, cool. Froze for a second. I think I just have to shoot that back. <laughs> <laughs> that looks even worse. Maybe I don't want to puncture this sack. Galena and Lise, they're both dead. I can't turn back now! The Red Soul can't die here! You can't erase it! Blood Purge! The Blood Purge! We will create a new world! A new generation! Must be purified. <laughs> oh. That's the true self you worked so hard to find. I'm sorry, Lena. I gave you far more credit than I ever should have. The Clarksons have always been the chosen ones. Proud souls. Divine life-given form. But at some point, that blood became tainted. So I decided to reset it. 
I need to purify this corrupt blood for the one I love most. And who is that? After I left home, I met the Red Soul and acquired a guide. And so I created the Red Powder and became an apostle for the Red Magic. The Red Powder transforms the body from within. It creates empowered souls, and mature souls are the greatest offering one can present to the goddess. Lys and Galena didn't lose their minds. They both died with honor. Died with honor? Just how deluded are you? Dismembered them and strung up their bodies in the name of vapid symbolism. Where's the honor in that? So what if they said they wanted to die? Cultists have been saying that for centuries. Silence! You will impede us no longer. You're always so smug. Oh, how I hate you. This is the last you'll ever see of my plan. Now die! This is more of an interesting design than Galena. Fire and brimstone! Ay! <laughs> Come on with the ammo, Ork! Why am I being reminded of like a spiral boss? <laughs> you know, you kind of hit them. You kind of wait for the timing and you hit them a couple times and then they die. <laughs> Purification! This is a little harder to see. I can see where they're going with this. No one can stop my plan. <laughs> we need this to heal real quick. And we're done. <laughs> <laughs> this can't be happening. I'm supposed to be invincible. That's what Galena said, too. Back to dust you go! I like shoot you from here. If you kill me. No one will be left to tell you about the plan! Well, you were gonna kill me anyway, so... <laughs> uh, no! That was way easier How than Galena. And the only reason it was it's easy is because there were no other no enemies to stop me from shooting stop him. <laughs> Just plan. stop me from shooting no. her. Not even me! Red Tree! Do I care about these boxes? At this point, I don't even know what I'm picking up. I don't think it even matters. I think in these boxes are like first aid kits and coffee and whatever. I'm leaving. <laughs> We'd see him till the end. They're both dead. <laughs> no. Lena, let go. I'm going to count to three. Then you're going to get down on the ground and put your hands behind your head. Got it? She's still hot. See this? If I let go, 
The bomb in the fireplace will explode. Do something smart for once, Lena. Detonating that bomb won't solve anything. <sighs> You're wrong, Agent Morgan. It'll give me the ending I've always dreamed of. <sighs> Lena. You're wrong. <sighs> Killing me. We'll bring back our family's prosperity. No! I know I am right! You never change. Once you make up your mind, that single idea possessing you is almost like you're cursing yourself. Oh, my hold is holding on. It's all your pain. No! You're the one who's wrong! When you first told me about the disparity between your mind and your body, I didn't know how to love you. Stop it! I don't want to hear this! But I, I always knew from the very stop. Stop talking! There was something special inside you. I also know that you had any cause with your older sister. <coughs> this is not where I thought that was going. Flesh and blood. Shut up! I just didn't know how to treat you. We didn't have to add that part. I'm sorry. It was a it was an emotional moment. I wanted to believe. Forgive me. Like regret over treating Stop. their trans Please. daughter. Like I ever, ever hated you. And then bring up that incest. Now you're gonna make me hate this person. Like I always <laughs> love you. From the bottom, from the bottom of my... I said shut up. Don't, Lena. What is that? This Ugh. is necessary. All of the corrupt blood must die. The Clarkson's blood must be purged. Then, the purity that's left behind can rebuild the Clarkson's legacy. Is that the goddess of fertility? Go and see her with your own eyes. You're an FBI special agent. Surely you can find her. No one can stop my plan now. Not even me. No, stop! Patricia Clarkson. Patricia, we knew it, we knew it, we already knew. We already knew. Come on, come on. We already knew. Patricia's a Clarkson. She's literally wearing the pendant on her neck. Ooh, that looks great. Maybe York should go. I knew they were gonna kill her. They dropped this random bomb that Professor R had sex with her older sister now she's dead now pj clarkson is dead galena is dead like <laughs> who's left <laughs> she said danny Pa! Hey. <laughs> oh, pa! Oh my God! Is that the same voice I'm for Lena? Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh, not what I wanted to see. Agent York, can you hear me? Ayo. What is it, Patty? Where's Melvin? Sheriff's 
office either. What should I do? You think it got caught up in some kind of trouble? You kind of need oh. Melvin. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Losing his mind over there, it's fine. Oh, shit! I got nothing now. Oh! Oh! Uh, I can't! I can't! Patty, I need someone at the Clarkson's okay, house. Okay, why would Lena kill herself? I don't care who you send. They can also Not ask Danny. Daniel Clarkson about the details once they get here. And you should also call an ambulance. Daniel just didn't in case. see anything. He just saw this. Uh, That's uh, it. Sure. I'm going to head straight over to the sheriff's office, Patty. Let's meet up there. Crazy. Mm, bye, Danny. <laughs> Leave you to deal with that <laughs> while I go find Melvin, who's suddenly gone. What's that noise? Why is why are we making that noise? So Danny's alive. Patricia is alive. Older sister, older sister, um the old ugh. Oh god, it's late. I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot it was late! We're moving, we're moving. I'm rich. Okay. Le Lena kills herself. I'm sorry, I need to get away from these stupid shadows. <laughs> I'm gonna let him sleep at the hotel first. I'm sure we'll review with the link board, but um, Lena's basically her plan was to purge the curse from the bloodline of the Clarkson family. So she kills PJ Clarkson, the patriarch. Galena is dead. Lise is dead. Danny's still alive. Patricia is being revealed as a Clarkson. We already kind of knew that because they weren't being very subtle with it. So perhaps Lena thinks that Patricia will be the one to purify the family. We don't know Danny's involvement yet. He just seems like an innocent bystander. Innocent enough. Because he doesn't really know what happened with Galena either. gonna sleep it off. Let's see. What's the link board say? Oh, PJ Clarkson is dead. Eldest daughter unknown. Eldest son. Lenny Clarkson, which is Lena. I really just want to pronounce it like Lena. But it's, it's supposed to be Lena. <laughs> Lena's dead. Cut into pieces. <laughs> How did we even update this? We only just found out that Melvin was missing. He has all the luck, doesn't he? His wife's dead, his daughter's dead, his dad is dead. He has no arm. 
Did he have to lose his arm? BJ Clarkson's dead now. What debt is there to be paid? Anyway. I really thought there'd be more on Professor R on the link board, but it's really just a small segment. And York is tracing Song Rouge, which is his drug, which is somehow connected to Lena, but she, now she's dead. <laughs> beard yet. I don't know how early... Eight hours seems like a perfectly reasonable amount of time to sleep. He's stinky. That's not difficult to solve. been like pertinent to upgrade any charms or anything like that but it might just make things a little easier in the long run wow, where is the hunger meter might as well just get him something to eat we'll be on our way how many times have I used Wyvern already? And that's what I'm talking about. You can't get so make I don't even know what day it is in the game. Thanks, mister. Next time. Okay. One of my quests. Share department. I mean, doesn't Patricia usually, like, come to meet me? I don't even know what day it is. I've completely lost track of what cocktails I've drank. If they would just tell me, that would be much easier. that he says, why burn? the investigation coming must be going well if you're on I don't okay there's still no hot spots available they might become available as we unlock different albums for the floor ditties I don't know no I don't want to go there that's what I'm talking about. come on get Where's the sheriff's department? I don't care if it's close. I'm going to Jersey Leaf Rita first, though. Not 
those were like heads. I think they're just like cutouts. How do I unlock these other slots? Do I have to find all the beads? Doth thou seek me? This one is the one where you have to drink all the cocktails every day. Doth thou you know, I should have just slept until 5 p.m. Then I would be able to do it. But also, I don't know what day it is. Expand, please. I have to get alligator skin? Whatever, whatever. know how to expand. I just don't have a lot of the materials I thought I would have. Like I don't have a- I don't have beads or anything. I don't know, we already go pretty fast. <laughs> gotten to a minigame where you can use a boat. I assume it's like down by the bayou where Chuck is. Stone timing. Why not? Now this is what I'm looking for. Something that increases the chamber size of this of the gun. But I don't have any low quality beads. I guess I just have to be on the lookout. I can see it. Thou hast what it was.
Now to go find Patricia. Maybe we'll see your mom. Oh boy. I think I know why they mentioned it. They mentioned the incest thing because we know that Patricia is not Melvin's biological daughter. Why am I here? Whoa. Whoa, whoa. I. What the heck? No, um. You did notice that I walked into Erzuli Frida, a voodoo shop, way in the middle of Lucare, and I came out in front of the Clarkson house. Why? <laughs> oh, well, I guess I can start looking for materials. That's crazy! Like, <laughs> can I go in? Wow, you can go in. Holy what? I didn't I didn't call Wyvern. I just I left the voodoo place and now here I am in front of the Clarkson house. Oh. It's just to go back to the other world, which I don't see a reason for doing that. I forget the reason for doing that in the first game. I was just trying to find some items. I thought that the map was showing that they were inside the house, but I guess not. Doesn't it look like it's in the house? Like, <laughs> it was just in the back of the house. Excuse me while I check their trash. So I'm finding all these nice cloths and stuff, but I'm looking for beads. <laughs> hey, it's their alligator pit. Where's the alligator though? <laughs> Sleepy. No beads here. Oops. Hey Zach, no nothing. Just felt like saying that. <laughs> Does he just really not have nothing else to say to me now? <laughs> I cycled through all of his dialogue. <laughs> Ooh, oh, um, what day is it? Tuesday.
It's still pretty weird that they just- I left Erzuli Frida only to be dumped outside the Clarkson house. <laughs> Patricia! Where's Melvin? Maybe he went to rush off to... Um, Patricia's... Did you find Melvin? Mother's aid? I don't know. Nope. I can't find either of them. Either of who? Either of them? Yeah. When I went home, it wasn't just my daddy who was missing. Mama was gone too. Wow. It's never happened before. Who's that in the background? Just a random dude. <laughs> Zach, we need to stop Professor R's plan no matter what it takes. Relax, Patty. You don't need to worry about a thing. I'm sure that Melvin just stumbled across an important clue that's stolen his attention for now. And I'm sure he's protecting your mother while he's at it. Let's just leave the investigation to the local police and rest for today. I need to prepare a report for the HQ anyway. How about staying with me in my room until we find them? But... You don't need to worry. I can't make you any homemade food, but I've got a first-class chef and a first-class concierge at my disposal. Oh, <laughs> and a very affable bellboy. It's a lot of fun at that hotel. But... Okay. I guess. Thanks, Agent York. This poor girl. <laughs> You're a lady, so you take the bed. Zach and I will be fine on the couch. Did I finish my thought? Thought? Okay. Um, my, my thought that... Wow. The reason why they mention Lena having sex with his older sister when she was still Lenny. Or maybe when she, while she was Lena. I don't know. Um, the reason why they mention that part is because Patricia is probably the love child. <laughs> Which is... Ooh. Ooh. I don't want to think about that. But it's probably what they're leading towards. <laughs> it's like... I don't know if they were supposed to have me find out so soon. Hey, I can get a low quality bead from this. Defeat one UFO. These quests are like, whatever. We don't- we still don't know why Patricia's mother is sick, though. Like, they probably weren't expecting somebody to figure that out so soon, but it's like, when you just suddenly drop a fact about incest and it's only regarding the tr one trans character in the story I'm gonna I'm gonna think about it I'm gonna dwell on it
It's not like Lena seemed proud about that fact that she had sex with her older sister. But it sounds like something that they would do in order to carry out this certain plan. Well, that was the case, like, you already have Danny coming in from outside of the family. And have and they and Danny has a daughter. Had a daughter. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows where they're going with this? We'll go back to Cost of Pineapple. Will we be the case? And I think that's a good time to maybe end this episode. difficult to go into Casa Pineapple. I used wyverns. Just somebody tell me. Zach, the Clarkson family tree is nothing like we thought it was. We need to reorganize everything we've uncovered so far. She was so tired she fell right to sleep. Hey, Zach. I'm in a very difficult spot right now. I feel like this case is heading in a direction that will be extremely unpleasant for her. I've never felt anything like this during any of our cases thus far. Let's reorganize. And then we'll end the episode, I'm First, sure. Let's go back to the beginning. That seems so long ago <laughs> that we talked to Frank. To Chuck. To Frank. <laughs> Lise Clarkson's body was found hanging under a bridge over the bayou. In a deserted spot close to where the bayou meets the Mississippi. The one who fired the pistol at heaven surely had no idea what he would find there. Speaking of which, Zach, Chuck, the man who started this race we're running, what's his occupation? He's like a crawfish farmer. Well, he's neither of the other things, so... That's right. He's a crawfish farmer. And after chasing a poacher's boat that crossed over into his farmland, he went up the bayou and was fortunate enough to find Lisa's body. I doubt it was a very pleasant experience for him. But if not for his discovery, Lisa's body might have started rotting out there. He's a difficult person to be sure, but I don't think he's a bad guy. Chuck said something peculiar. He claimed the Clarksons were a little better when their son was still around. I don't know exactly what he meant, but we ended up meeting the person he was talking about, didn't we? Under very unexpected circumstances. Leonard Clarkson. He ran away from home, found his true self, then changed names. Sozak. Do you remember her name? PJ Clarkson. <laughs> The townspeople call her Lena. She was also known as Professor R while she plotted against the Clarksons. Okay, I always have to remember that her full name is Helena. So that's why her shortened nickname is Lena. <laughs> She's the mother of the new drug known as Saint Rouge. She must have also had a group of followers who worshipped her fanatically. I can see it now. Lena sprinkling down the red powder, corrupting every last pure and innocent girl in town. 
Lena mentioned her plan each time we met. She must have taken us for utter fool, Zack. She thought she was always one step ahead of us, and that we'd never see the full scope of her plan. Well, her plan isn't complete yet, and I know we can still stop it. That's why we need to learn all we can about her. Her alias was Professor R, and she was well learned in the areas of medicine and fire dynamics. By the way, Zack, do you remember what weapon Lena used to murder PJ? Actually, I don't know what it was. She was pointing a gun at him. But it looked like she had like some sort of taser. Correct. She used a miniature bomb. That's not what murdered him though. Well, if he had any chance for survival, the bomb cut it short. <laughs> to tell you the truth, she surprised me. That bomb was so well placed. It left hardly any damage on the building itself, yet still did amazing work on them. Lena should have used that brain of hers for something more productive than that saga of revenge. For example, reviving Lucare's economy from the industrial sector. Widen your perspective, and you'll see that Louisiana is an industrial treasure trove. With her intelligence and her charisma, I'm sure she would have found some amazing opportunities. Such a tragedy. Zach, there's one more important matter we need to think about here. Galena Clarkson, who was murdered in jail. Her body was dismembered, then rearranged into a V-shape. Okay. I don't remember that part. I think I was, like, looking away at the time when we discovered Galena's body in the jail cell. So, when we saw the doll arranged in a V-shape, I didn't understand what that meant. I thought it was, like, a premonition for something that was to come, but it was just highlighting what had already happened to Galena. Patty and Melvin claimed it was a severed roots killing, but that doesn't make sense to me. And PJ Clarkson disapproved of it when I met him in the other world. He saw Galena's parts lined up and was overcome by an inexplicable fear. Tell me, who killed Galena? <laughs> I was about to say, I don't know. I don't think we know. Unfortunately, we don't have the answer to this one yet. And it's too big a problem to solve with mere speculation. The answer to this question may lead to a major turning point for this case and the final turning point for this story. You know it's true, Zack. I only hope it doesn't push us down an avenue we didn't plan on exploring. Have we really done 43 different main quests already? We can already guess. But we can't find Patricia's mother anymore, because Melvin must exactly. have taken her away. Do you remember PJ's last words? Lena had intercourse with her older sister. Yes, her I remember that. flesh and blood. This means there's still one more person out there who inherited PJ's blood. Jazz. Oh, fucking poacher, now I gotcha. Caught you red handed. Oh. 
Ow. Oh my god. They being fat phobic now? <laughs> I'm not even like thinking about S rank, A rank, whatever. I just want to be done. <laughs> oh, I guess these count as like points, the fragments when I pick them up, but whatever. <laughs> Um, it's been like another eight hours. Is every episode gonna take eight hours? How many episodes are there? I think in the first game there were literally like... I wanna say 26 episodes. Around that. They weren't all eight hours. I rushed it pretty much. Like, I, by the time I reached this mark in... The first game, I was already done with the game, so... <laughs> they're dragging it out, and I don't think they're dragging it out for the right reasons. Okay, it looks like they're gonna bring us back to present day with Zack, so I think I'm just gonna quit. Soon. I'm almost there. Just... Please, someone, stop that noise. Please, I'm begging you, just stop the noise, please. Someone, okay. please. I'm gonna I quit. Because I don't know how long it'll be until I'm able to save after. So I already saved right after the end of the episode, so... Thanks for watching. We'll figure out more of this mess um, in a different episode, probably tomorrow, so.